long trip or yeah um was to Fujara. uh well we had two investigations to do there we had one was to um pretty much analyze the risks of flooding so we went to Wadi Ham and Safi So we got to um, Wadi Ham and uh, well we got the car and we're pretty much going over what we had to do. So we try and work out basically how much water the water can hold before it floods. Now I don't think there would ever be a time when the water had that much water. But we're going to look for evidence of, let's say, the last, the last line of water to see basically how much water was in the channel at that time. So we're going to do a cross section. So for field work, we did a uh, cross section. Cross section. We did a transaction rate. Um, we took a tram vector two points, which is the same point, which we which was did. basically a yeah. point in the source, a point in the map. Yeah, which we um, we did like all three of the field books in those area, in that area. Yeah. So we had something to write on the map on we, the the map. The way we do a cross section is by putting a um, taking a cross, and then at regular intervals, we can decide the intervals. We just measure the depth of the and then when we can actually then go and draw it on a bit of graph paper, work out how many meters squared the cross section is and then maybe Mr. Albastri can do some calculations and look at the angle of the well, I don't know how you're gonna do it really, but um, work out what the velocity potential velocity could be. We were basically trying to measure the manifold discharge uh, in relation to like uh, the flooding risk of previous case studies we studied for example like Boss Castle. But the thing was Boss Castle was a running river. Like here we had a wadi that was completely dry so we couldn't even measure the velocity. And no, Mr. Albastri was trying to be genius and was threaded similar <laughs> He did similar triangles, kinda of went on I don't know what he did there and then he went on to any we tried to calculate the velocity and he found out it was yeah. 4 meters per second or something which like we that. thought was really, it was too quick for just a running river but when there's a what? flash flood in the yeah. wadi yeah. it, 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 it seems quite true but Mr. Reese was quite, didn't actually believe Mr. Rashi when he figured yeah. out that it was 4 meters per second Okay, so let's just go and have a little wander around we'll decide where we're going to do the cross sections we can do, we can do a couple Time. The water flows down from the mountain, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. I don't have the water. We can estimate the height of the mountain. I've brought a thermometer. Yeah, we can work out the height of the mountain. We'll work out the drop potential energy. We've got a lot of water. You need to know the catchment area as well, though. Potential. We can estimate that. We'll probably off the map. We can, we can. Yeah. Easy, please. Yeah. All right. Sorry. This is why I brought him. <laughs> And um, it was it was funny because to be honest, I thought there was going to be water, so but there was no water, so it was pretty like it was dry, deep, and it was so deep, like so. Then we had to sort of go down into the wadi, and uh, it was funny. I had I had got down first, and then I got down. I don't and, like and climbing. Then, and then I looked, I looked up, and the country <laughs> was still, still at the top. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna take another 10 minutes for her to get down. So anyways, we're at Wadi Ham. Not really sure if it is Wadi Ham itself, but um, we're at a Wadi. And uh, yeah, we're gonna uh, measure a couple of things like cross section, and then from that we create a map of it. Uh, no, not a map, sorry, a graph. And then we're gonna um, try and measure um, its velocity, uh, its catchment area, and uh, its discharge, and probably other things which I uh, <laughs> didn't, didn't really remember listening to. But anyways, okay, making progress, guys. Woohoo! This is one basically the river. It's taken some rocks down and it's laid all the sediment down on the, on the valley bed. It might have been at the time when there was, say, more rainfall, so the river flow was more constant. And you can see it's made up of different types of sediment. You've got quite sort of sandy, muddy um, material, and then you've also got much larger material in it. Now, 
currently you can see what's happened is the, the waddy has cut down through that layer of sediment. This sediment would have been going all the way over to the other side, but the waddy, every time it floods, obviously it eats the channel. A bit, a bit like, a, you know the way a delta, it drops its material and then it makes its own little distributaries in the delta. That's what's happened here. There has been obviously a, all this is sedimentary rock and the, the waddy's cut through it. If you go further up here, you see there's much different type of rock. This rock, see, it's probably metamorphic rock and much, you know, obviously you can see it's not crumbly at all. So what's happened to the size of the channel in the area where the, the rock is it's much more resistant? It's become thinner. Much more narrow, yeah. And like you probably described that as a, as a mini gorge, you know, very steep sided um, channel. So what we're going to do, we're going to measure one across the gorge and then we're going to measure one across here. Mr. Albatti is going to get like GPS, so then we know we can plot on the map exactly where we took the cross sections of the channel. Alright? Okay. Okay, so we got to the top of the mountain and uh, we could see like military base, so I was kind of like freaked out to Mr. Albatti yeah, didn't do the military base. Pretty much. It's and, flying on military base. And, um, so that being at the top of the mountain pretty much helped us um, with our hazard risk map. Um, so that was um, we looking at GIS maps of the area, pretty much just you know uh, estimated as to like how much of area would flood and how much the land's worth and stuff. Yeah, and that was that was pretty much it for our um, Wadi Ham investigation on flooding. Yeah, it was good. Yeah.